Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Stoneblock 3 series. Today, guys, I have a new episode for you. Today, guys, we're going to be showing off some of our new progressions. So first off, we have the chickens here. We have all 57 of these chickens now, and they're all maxed out at 10, 10, 10. So look at here. Yep, lava, 10, 10, 10. So all these are hooked up to drawers. Um, currently, we only have one upgrade in them for now. Um, we also have them all hooked up to this controller here, which is connected to our AE2 system, which we have revamped, which I'll show off just shortly. But besides that, let's go over some of the quest progressions we have. Uh, and that is, first off, the storage. We have almost completed all the storage quests. The only one we're missing is the black hole controller. So we are very close. We completed all the refined storage, all the AE2. And that's how we're at there. Um, well, we also completed the passive resources, finished off that one. And we started and completed RF tools and completed power and thermal series and create. Besides that, we have also started mechanism. So let's get into some of our base progressions. So we saw the chickens. Um, here's the new chicken area. It's right above the animals. Um, so we just moved all the chickens here and uh, moved them up here in this new area. Um, over here we have some of our um, progression with industrial for going. We have a, a farm here for the pink slime as well as some of the various um, other things we had at, in the previous episode. Here's still our blaze farm. Up here we have some progression on the power generation, power storage. Um, we do have the B squad continuing to grow. Um, if you don't know, the B squad is our backup power. Um, so we have a network called the B squad, which is just our backup energy source in case our main power supply would go down. Um, but we did upgrade our reactors from the starting reactor now to the spirited reactor and all these are upgraded as well So it goes spirited blazing and then niotic um, So yeah, we made great progressions there as well as a little bit of automation here for the power to help along with that um, other progressions is um, I guess some rework we um, changed the way that the um, flow of the base was over here so we now have um, cleaned up this area here for the mechanism room. So we walk in here, we do have some dust igneous extruders, which are producing some materials we need, as well as some upgraded machines and mechanism. So besides that, um, this room is not really changed. It's just blocked off here now, and it moved the machines over here, this being the um, immersive engineering. As well as you're going to see a new room up the here. This is um, to help us finish out create. We made some automation, some machines here. So these were to make some of the refined um, storage. And these ones back here were for the completion of the create, meaning like the sturdy sheets were to use for the trains stuff, as well as the precision mechanisms, um, which this big machine here, which is like 15 long, it's like five cycles. And those are all hooked up to these inner drawers here, which are hooked up to the top, which push them into the deployers. Um, besides that, we did make some progression in Create regarding like how we generate the stress units. So we now have the motors, which we have been using throughout the base. Um, as you can see here, there's some motors here, which are hooked into our um, flux network, um, as well as over here. Um, it, this is the only thing that's changed in our A2 processing. We started using motors here. Um, besides that, we did also um, move the uh, generation of these materials up here. Um, so they're kind of more grouped to what they're used for. Um, as well as some of the big thing we did, I promised I would get done is the A2 advancements and cleanup. Um, so we now have this area cleaned up and got all of our different various terminals here, as well as some monitoring that we can do in the future. As well, as you're gonna see there's a lot of work done in this section of the base. Um, we did do a lot of cleanup around here. 
and um, some expansion. So now we have a huge storage room um, that we're going to build into like our AE2 system. It's all hooked up through the storage controller here. Um, yeah, this is the our previous one we had behind the um, terminals before we moved into a big area over here. Um, so yeah, that's where our storage is at for this. Um, here's where I moved our controller to. Like the diamond blocks are gonna represent um, the controller as we need to expand it. But yeah, here's our chickens, and here is the um, the drawers set up. They're entangled together, so. They can easily connect to the system as well as here's our security and then here's like a, a quick access terminal um but we did move our drives over here to, so this is our like our drive room you know like kind of like a server room so we got like this this is where all of our drives are going to be and they have i mean this is the same amount of drives we had before i just moved them into a bigger room uh, we also have this is where our previous furnace stuff was in the wall over there. I moved into this um, display over here um, and it's hooked in up back here through Ender Chest. Um, besides that, I think we also have some. We cleaned up this room here, and I think that was the last of the base updates I have for you guys today. But if you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.